Hello, I'm Ryan Facts of Mars. And this is getting mainstream news coverage. It's from UPI and Life Science is also carrying this same article. Scientists have observed dominance among populations of a rather infamous ant species, Lepisodiocioda canescens. Okay, that's not going to happen, but, uh, anyway. Species has been organized in the super colonies in the ancient for church forests of Ethiopia. Only 20 species are known to form super colonies. Super colonies can include millions of nests and billions of worker ants. Evidence of... I'm not going to do it. LC, what super colonies was discovered in forests owned by the Ethiopian Orthodox Tiwa Hidu Church, one of only a few pre colonial Christian denominations in Africa. Forests of varying size surround the most Orthodox churches in Ethiopia. Majority of forests are isolated. An oasis of habitat surrounded by cleared fields and agricultural land. Though not all these super colonies are perceived as a threat to biodiversity and a sign of degraded habitat, they can invade homes and other structures as well as damage crops and can cover thousands of miles. Scientifically, a super colony described. Uh, is described as having no natural limits to its expanse. In Ethiopia, researchers have observed LC colonies expanding beyond perimeters of church forests. One super colony was found stretching 24 miles. Now that is a big ant nest. A new paper in their discovery published this week in the journal Insects. That's not going to happen. It's apparently French or something. That's not going to happen. At any rate, scientists warn the newly dominant ant is a global threat. Species we found in Ethiopia may have high potential becoming globally invasive species. D. Magdalena Sorger, a postdoctoral researcher with North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences warned in a news release. Invasive species often travel with human, humans, so as tourism and global commerce to the region of Ethiopia continues to increase, so the likelihood that the ants will hitch a ride, possibly in plant material or even in luggage of tourists. All it takes is one pregnant queen Sorger said that's how fire ants started. Well, uh, I have news for you. They need more than one pregnant queen. You need some workers, too. Uh, she can lay the eggs, sure, but without the workers, eggs just die. <sighs> These people are actually freaking out about this, I guess. To tell you the truth, I don't see any difference. It looks like a standard carpenter ant, to be honest with you. Not that, it's, not that it couldn't be a problem, but I think we have work, rather uglier things to uh, worry about than uh, these marauding ants. They're off in some African country. Sorry, I... Uh, have more important things to worry about. Anyway, there's your mad science update for today. Thanks for listening. I hope this works out for me on uh, the recording. <laughs>